Artes Lagos, the leading international art fair in West Africa, returns for its seventh edition, celebrating artistic excellence from Africa and its global diaspora. The 2022 edition of the fair will be held from 4th to 6th November at the Father Palace, Victoria Island, Lagos. Artes Lagos is both a catalyst for international cultural exchange and a platform for discussions. And its 2022 fair we highlight the unique ability of contemporary art to inspire, uplift, and empower through this year's theme, who we gather under the Baobab tree. With careful consideration of the challenges currently being experienced in Nigeria, Africa, and across the world, the 2022 edition of Artes Lagos, we highlight the power of culture to speak to important local and global contemporary issues. Joining us on this show this morning, as we discuss this year's event, Tokine Peterside Chuebik, founder of Artex Lagos. Welcome to the morning show, Tokine. Good morning. Good morning, and thank you for having me. Well, first, congratulations on uh, what you've been able to do with Artex Lagos, uh, establishing it as a prominent brand, uh, not just in Nigeria, but across the continent and all the efforts Thanks. that you continue to put in is particularly very inspiring to those of us in the art community in Nigeria. So you, are, you have put your hands on a good thing, as they say. But very quickly, tell us about this year's event, the theme, and what your plans are. Thank you, Dr. Abati, and it's great to be here um, speaking about Artex Lagos on Arise News. Our seventh edition comes up this weekend. It is our most ambitious yet. We will be featuring over 120 artists from 40 countries across Africa and the diaspora. Now, these artists will be represented by 30 of the leading galleries who want to present artists who are really iconic, and iconic in the sense that they are speaking in many ways to what we are going through in our various societies, whether it be at a national level, Pan-African or even global. In the introduction, you mentioned our curatorial theme, who will gather under the Baobab tree. This year, we are inviting our audiences to enter into a dialogue and a conversation with us. Very simply, we want to examine and explore the wisdoms from our past. We know that Africa was very advanced in history, philosophy, and so much more. How can we take those learnings, apply them to all the issues we face now, and decide how to move together into the future? And so these are the kinds of conversations, special exhibitions, performances that will be experienced at Artex Lagos 2022, all referencing our ideology, our ideas, and creating a space for sharing of ideas, and so much more. So in essence, that's what we'll be getting up to this year. And once again, congratulations are in order for what you've been able to do with Artex. So uh, tell, tell us how you'll be curating those conversations under the Baobar tree. I mean, what kind of artists, you know, of the past we will get a, a chance to learn from? I mean, by the top of my head, uh, I mean, I'm looking forward to artists like, uh, you know, Moraino, Yelami, and, you know, some other big ones out there. Bruce is going to be... Another prayer, the father himself is going to be 90 this year. I mean, a lot of great things coming up this year. Are we going to be learning from artists like that or you have, or, you know, other lineup for us? We actually have a very diverse mix and it's great that you've mentioned these legends such as Professor Norbert Beyer. This year, in fact, we have a similar legend, the artist James Barner. He's a Ghanaian artist currently based between Accra and London. He's in his 90s. He documented so much of the independence movement across West Africa and how that spilled over into the UK. He will be joining us for a special conversation in collaboration with MoMA, the Museum of Modern Art Unit New York, to talk about his experiences photographing everyone from Nkrumah to many of the pioneers that have led so much of the change that we desired on this continent. In addition to established and very mature artists like him, we have we have contemporary greats like Victor Hikameno, who will be speaking to topical issues such as the restitution debate and his special exhibition at the fair that will touch on many of these issues. Uh, 
We will also have Professor Mamadou Diouf, who will be speaking from New York, talking as well about federalism, the state of our continent, and the ideas that we need in order to push forward. Of course, we will not leave out the younger generation. There'll be a session for young artists called the Artist Development Forum, exploring how artists can navigate these challenging times, protecting themselves whilst also putting forward the right narratives to help them express what they wish to say at this very interesting time in our nations and our continent's development. So there are so many conversations like this to experience at Artex Lagos this year, and of course, special projects and performances that will also bring our audience into this space of conversation. Well, to Kenny, partnership is an important part of this kind of uh, journey. I want you to talk to us about your partnership with Access Bank, and maybe if there are other partners and the scale of their involvement in this uh, addition, if I may use that word. I'd be glad to. The honest truth is that Artex Lagos is very, very well supported by a mix of Nigerian organizations who believe in the power of what we are creating. Access Bank, and especially now the Access Corporation have been our lead sponsors since inception in 2016. The vision of Dr. Herbert Wigwe is truly incredible in terms of his appreciation of what we are creating. We have partnered with them for several years on the Access Artex Prize. Today, this is the leading art award in Nigeria. This prize aims to propel emerging artists forward emerging Nigerian artists, and this year we're also inviting African and African diaspora artists. They will experience a fantastic opportunity, receiving a grant of over $10,000, of $10,000 each. They will have international residencies, opportunities for cultural exchange, and so much more to support these artists who are operating in a market or a system or an ecosystem where they don't have the level of support that their international contemporaries do. We have other sponsors who have been with us for years Years, such as, for example, Tangerine, Stambik IBTC Pensions, and Abjets. We have um, Zircon Marine with us this year. We have very, very many partners. Afrexim Bank is supporting us in a major way to channel a conversation with Pan-African artists. They'll be coming in from Egypt, from Tanzania, from Angola, from South Africa, from Benin Republic, to also be part of the conversation at the fair, sharing their work and their ideas. So we're really grateful to these partners that support Artex Lagos. We have media partner sponsors, so many organizations who rally behind what we do um, and who ensure that the vast audiences across Nigeria and internationally can experience this work, learn from it and gain from it as well. Well, thank you very much. Uh, to Kenan Peter Sai Shobig, we thank you very much for joining us on The Morning Show. Thank, thank you very much. Indeed.